Hi, welcome to a new tutorial. Let's make an illustration of a nanoparticle. Here I have an example. You can see a nanoparticle and also a cross section is shown. Basically the idea behind creating a nanoparticle is you have an atom which is distributed inside a sphere which forms that lattice right in a certain fashion. So we'll use particle system for this. Let's have a look at that. And also let's try to create this cross section as well. Let me open blender. Okay. So particle system is a very useful tool. You can use it for many purposes. This particular project will give you an idea. What are the possibilities and how can you extend your imagination for creating various scientific objects. So I'll delete this cube first. Press X delete. We need an atom, a sphere, shift a mesh UV sphere. Now we have a sphere. Right click and shade smooth to avoid these grid lines and select this move tool so that we will see this axis and select on one axis and move that to one side and add one more sphere shift a mesh UV sphere scale this up press S and move the mouse so that we have enough scale for the nanoparticle compared to the single atom select this sphere you can go to particle properties here you can see an icon select this plus icon so that it will add a particle system on top of this sphere and if you go to wireframe mode you can see all particles for that you need to change these two values frame start and frame end now if you press play animation you can see particles are emitting across this timeline we want all of them present at zeroth frame so change frame start to zero from one Select inside this box and add 0, same for end, change from 200 to 0. Now you can see all particles present inside the sphere. Now expand this render menu here and change render as from hello to object and you can see instance object. So Blender is asking which object you want to use to replace all these particle points that we had. So select this eyedropper tool and click on this sphere so that you can see all the particles are now our atom and go back to viewport shading select this icon and you can see the sphere has small spheres on the surface. Now increase the scale here under render so that you can see atoms. Now we want all the atoms to be present inside the sphere for that go to source under emission and change the emit from from faces to volume now particles are being emitted from the face of the parent sphere change that faces to volume and we don't see anything now because all the particles went inside the sphere if you go inside you can see that all particles are present inside now let's hide the sphere so that we can see all those particles under this menu you can see viewport display uncheck this show emitter option now you can see all the particles also uncheck this show emitter under render so that this outer sphere will not come in our final illustration now all the particles are randomly arranged we want all of them to be arranged uniformly for that change this distribution from jittered to grid now you have a nanoparticle we are almost there now you can see resolution here if you increase the resolution it will add more atoms you have to choose an optimum resolution at which these atoms are not overlapping with each other so now this looks okay atoms are almost touching and also you can decrease the scale of this atom by changing the scale value under render if you increase the scale you can see that it is getting bigger and that's how you can create a simple nanoparticle if you go to render preview modes you can see the colors and all select this nanoparticle and move to one side let me add a plane shift a plane increase the scale of the plane so that we will have a background like this and move this down and scale it up again and now we have a light here but it is not bright enough go to light properties here and increase the power from 1000 to 10,000 now we have enough light move this 
to the top now we can see the nanoparticle clearly now let's add some colors select this atom and go to material properties and click on new and change the base color to the color you want and you can even add some metallic properties to make it shiny increase this metallic value so that it will have some metallic appearance let's add some light in this direction as well select this light press shift d to duplicate it and move to one side now we have a nanoparticle just like that so nanoparticle can have different shapes it can be icosahedron dodecahedron or cube anything so to create different different shapes you can model the parent object first and simply follow the same step that we just did so what i'll do now create a cubic nanoparticle shift a mesh cube increase the size press s and move the mouse like this and go to particle properties click on this plus icon it will add a new particle system we want the same particle system that this object has on this cube as well so for that click on this drop down menu here which will show all the particle system available right now the particle system we just created earlier is this one particle settings this is new one particle settings dot zero zero one click on the earlier one now you can see the cube also has the same particle system if you look closer you can see atoms are overlapping you can simply select this cube and increase the scale press s and move this up and you can adjust so that atoms are not overlapping with each other like that now hide this cube so that we can see only atoms under viewport display uncheck show emitter under render uncheck show emitter now we have a cubic nanoparticle so now if you make any changes to this cube it will be forming a new nanoparticle so select this cube duplicate it shift d and select on this axis to move that to one side like that and now go to edit mode so that we can make some changes to this cube press tab now you can see the entire cube in wireframe mode now if you use bevel option here click on this bevel tool and select on this yellow circle and move this in up direction so basically you are beveling the cube to create this polyhedron now if you go back to object mode press tab now you can see we have a new geometry for the nanoparticle so you can do that again shift d go to edit mode press tab now instead of beveling these edges you can change here to vertices now if you select on this yellow and bevel the beveling is different basically it is beveling around the vertex points like that now we have a, an interesting geometry here like that so the main idea is create the geometry you want by modeling and create the particle system now let's try different geometry by adding a icosphere again when you add an object you will be able to see a menu here expand that there you can see subdivisions if you increase the subdivision it will become more subdivided i will reduce the subdivision to one now you have an icosphere scale it up press s and move like this and let's bevel it again press tab now if you bevel but all vertex points will be beveled you can see vertices is in selection click on this yellow dot and move like that and apply same particle system go to particle settings and click on this plus icon and expand this menu and choose particle settings now let me increase the scale press s and scale it up like that and uncheck show emitter under viewport display as well as render now we have a new geometry so you have to add multiple objects and go to edit mode and see how beveling is working on edges as well as vertex point so that you can create different different geometries select this cube go, go to edit mode press tab and make sure your bevel is selected and change vertices to edges and bevel it up so now you can see it is forming a tetrahedron to create a perfect tetrahedron while beveling press one on keyboard see how cool is that now you can increase the resolution 
as well. Now, if you want to create a doped nanoparticle, a nanoparticle with different atoms, instead of choosing one object, you can add a collection. Let me show that. I'll add a new sphere, shift A, mesh, UV sphere, and right click, shade smooth, add a new material for that. Go to material properties, click new, and change the color to blue for now. Let's make that metallic, increase this metallic value. Now we need to create a collection. So when you have multiple objects in the scene, you can create a collection and put some objects in, inside that and it will act as a basket to hold those objects. So you can easily go to that collection and identify the objects. And here you can see an outliner window there you can create collections. Right click, new collection. I will double click and rename atoms. Now select this atom and press M to move this inside the collection named atoms. Now you can see this sphere appeared inside this atom and we want that for this sphere as well. Press M and click on atoms. Now we have this both atoms inside a collection. So now what we need to do select this nanoparticle and go to particle properties under render we have object change that to collection so that we can instance collection we can add multiple objects in the particle system so now we have to choose which collection we want to choose for that you can see instance collection click inside that and choose atoms now you can see that we have one more atom inside our nanoparticle now you can reduce the number of this doped atom under Particle settings, you can see an option called use count under collection. Activate that and expand that menu and you can change the count value. You can see both spheres here. Select the first one and increase the count. So now it is 10. So basically it is a ratio representing how much atom A and atom B are present inside this nanoparticle. So now the ratio is 10 and for the other one is 1 which means 1 is to 10. So if you want to add one more doped atom inside this nanoparticle, just simply add a sphere and move to this collection. 